I think the president's words to say he is not a servant of the country, of the citizens, was completely misplaced and it actually could point to his inner feeling. The president is right that nobody has hired him. He has taken up the work of being a politician, more so a, a liberation struggleist on his own volition. That's what the president was meaning. He's out of order. The president is constitutionally bound to work for the welfare of Ugandans and to ensure that Ugandans are safe. National leader, you are supposed to be galvanizing the people that you lead. You're supposed to be thinking about the people that you lead first before you even think about yourself. At the present saying, nobody hired me. Even if you were not paying me salary, I would still do this job for Uganda. Because first of all, it is my job as a citizen to fight for Uganda. So I don't have to be paid. So in that, in that respect, the president is right that he is not a servant. That kind of statement marks of extreme arrogance and a sense of entitlement. And for me, Ugandans need to inquire deeply into whether indeed President Museveni, uh, in whatever he does, thinks about the Ugandan people first. I th the constitution is now threadbare because of the power hunger of Yoweri Museveni. In my view, the president was out of order to claim that he's not a servant of Ugandans. He is our servant, whether he likes it or not, and we'll continue treating him as our servant. That's why he goes to beg for votes. Yes, he serves Uganda, but he does not have to work for pay. The president should stop being a masquerader. As long as he holds an office, he is a servant.